The Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated the FCS complex at DRDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment today. The DRDO has built the seven-storey facility in only 45 days using composite construction technology that will house research and development facilities for the development of avionics and flight control system of the AMCA fifth-generation fighter jet for the Indian Air Force. Hindustan Aeronautics is adopting jigless assembly approach for the assembly of AMCA fighter jet and determinate assembly methodology during component design and manufacturing processes, and this methodology will pave the way for reducing substantial assembly time and bringing in process quality during assembly. The DRDO has been working on a 350 km range next generation submarine launched cruise missile that will be equipped on both P 75 and P 75I class submarines. The warhead for the submarine launched cruise missile has already been supplied, and the DRDO's armament research and development has now released a request for proposal for the fabrication and delivery of safety arming mechanism for the submarine launched cruise missile, which is a vital link between the warhead and missile, which plays an important role in keeping the missile in safe condition during handling transportation storage and launch phases, which also means that we can expect its first test this year. The submarine launched cruise missile will have two variants, the first will be a land attack variant with electro-optical seeker, that will feature area correlation tracking and digital scene marching technology, and can destroy both static and moving targets, while the second variant will be an anti-ship variant with ASA RF seeker. The Defence Acquisition Council is all set to clear the 10,000 crore rupees purchase of 12 Su-30 fighter jets next week, after which Indian Air Force will place an order very shortly. The DAC will also clear 70 HTT-40 basic trainer aircraft for the Indian Air Force, and about 50 suites of electronic warfare equipment made by Bharat Electronics worth 2,000 crore rupees. Pakistan Air Force has recently inducted six Chinese J-10C fighter jets, and it has plans to procure more than 75 aircraft, that will largely cater to replace 60% of the F-16 fighters. Upon Pakistan's request, China had transferred all the J-10C airframes that were under production for the Chinese Air Force to Pakistan, to meet the urgent requirement to counter the 36 Indian Rafale fighters. The Indian Air Force has a large fleet of Mi-17 helicopters, and due to limited capacity of in-house repair and overhaul at its No. 3 base repair depot, the Indian Air Force has decided to outsource the repair and overhaul of its Mi-17 V-5 helicopters to the private industry, that has the requisite technical expertise and infrastructure to take up the project in collaboration with Russia's Kazan helicopters. A Chennai-based startup Big Bang Boom Solutions has successfully demonstrated its anti-drone system to the Indian military, during which the system has exceeded expectations in its performance. It features advanced long-range sensors, state-of-the-art artificial intelligence, and computer vision algorithms, that helps in the precise detection at 5 km range, as well as identification of drones and their payload with drone flight pattern recognition. The company is also working on the development of AI-powered autonomous unmanned tank plugins for unmanned tank development. The Indian Coast Guard has issued a request for information, that reveals its intention to procure six more 115 meters offshore patrol vessels, and has sought responses from industry by the 25th of April. Each vessel must feature landing deck and hangar for a 10,000 kg helicopter and support vertical takeoff and landing UAV operations.